Have you ever asked yourself, how does Google Translate work? Well, the answer might surprise you, but it doesn't use any CNNs. They are done using transformers, and I'm not talking about those in the movies. Let's dive into this translation mystery. Recurrent neural networks, also known as RNNs, are widely used in natural language processing, but they are slow and can deal with long sentences very well. Since they work only one word at a time, it leads to problems like vanishing or exploding gradients. If you are not familiar with RNNs and NLP, I explained them in two videos which are linked in the description. I suggest that you take a look before continuing this video. Transformer neural network architectures were introduced in 2017 with the paper Attention is all you need by Google to get rid of those RNNs and CNNs models and just use attention instead. Using a similar approach to RNNs, transformers will make the use of more parallelization possible during training, making it way faster and more accurate. First, we need to look at attention, since it's a key idea in transformers. Attention is the evaluation of the relationship between each input item to each output item. Then, there's self-attention, which is the evaluation of the relationship between each input item to every other input item. This is the attention with respect to oneself. It tells us how a particular word in the sentence relevant to other words in the same sentence. Transformers networks use self-attention multiple times called multi-headed attention. Each head learns attention relationships independently. Transformers are a sequence-to-sequence -sequence model that uses encoders and decoders, and they work much like RNNs. It uses multiple multi-headed attention modules stacked on top of each other. The encoder evaluates the degree of relevance of each word with respect to the other words in the sentence to be translated. The encoder encapsulates both language interactions, like French and English interactions. Doing that, we get the relationships with other words in both languages. Overall, the decoder predicts the next word and we execute this over multiple time steps until the end of the sequence. These encoders and decoders are all connected through feedforward layers, transforming the output to make it digestible by the next encoder or decoder block. The main difference with RNNs is the fact that input sequences are passed simultaneously, instead of one at a time, which is much faster. For example, in natural language processing, RNNs learn one word at a time, while transformers can learn all words of a sentence simultaneously. It is used in sequence-to-sequence -sequence tasks, like machine translation, where it takes a sequence of words, for example in English, and translates it in a sequence of words in another language, like French. Like everything, transformers have benefits and disadvantages. They have faster training time than RNNs if you have access to sufficient compute because of the parallelization. Plus, the attention mechanism ignores order, which means that it is as easy to detect relationships between very distant items as it is to detect relationships between close items in a sequence. However, there are drawbacks as well. Transformers are very large models, so it needs a lot of memory and compute to train, and requires a lot of data. Finally, since they are pretty new, we know less about them and what works, like the effects of the hyperparameters compared to the RNNs and CNNs. This was just an introduction. Feel free to check the links in the description to learn more about transformers. Please leave a like if you learned something, and subscribe to the channel to not miss any further term clearly explained. Thank you.